Drugs and Alcohol Abuse To understand drugs and alcohol abuse, first, what is drug must be known. What is a drug? Drug is a chemical substance which can be used as medicine and or narcotics. What is a narcotics then? It is a chemical substance or a substance which can bring mental lethargy. So it decreases effectiveness of a person. Now what is alcohol and drug abuse? What we mean understand by the word abuse? It means continuous use of a chemical substance which is basically injurious to the health. How it is injurious? It causes physical, mental as well as psychological deterioration. And it may also lead to death due to different diseases. For example, we know smoking, smoking of cigarettes and several other things like cigarette or chewing of tobacco. Smoking or chewing of tobacco may cause diseases, basically cancer, cancer of different parts of uh, the body. Uh, for example, lungs cancer cancer in different parts of the mouth etc. Now coming to the types of the drugs. Mainly these are the following types. Mainly five or six following types um, we can say are the main uh, types of the drugs which are abused. These are opioids, cannabinoids, coca alkaloids then also barbiturates amphetamines lysergic acid diethyl amides that is LSD benzodiazepines and also morphine as well as tobacco which can be either smoked or chewed as I told now coming to the comparison this is the chart about three main types of drugs which are abused and all the information name of the drug source plant of uh, the name of the plant from which it is obtained uh, part of the plant from which it is obtained then binds with or interfere with which part of the body and effect on human body also we will uh, study about the common name common name of these um, agents or drugs and how it is taken so common name as well as and taken by so how it is taken inside the body or how it is abused mode of abuse it's better to say now coming to the first one that is opioid opioid is obtained from papaber somniferum and it is obtained from latex part of the plant now binds with there are opioid receptors present in central nervous system as well as gastrointestinal tract in our body. Opioid acts as depressant and slows down body function. So depressant as we know basically uh, brings mental lethargy as I told. Now coming to the common name, also called smack or 
heroin also these are the names now opioid is chemically it by uh, chemi chemical it is diacetyl morphine diacetyl morphine so that is chemical name we can say and it is white crystalline bitter chemical so this is and the main information how it is uh, abused it is taken inside the body by snorting or injection now coming to cannabinoids next type obtained from cannabis sativa and a uh, part of the plant from which it is obtained inflorescence also flower top leaves and resin part of the plant receptors are basically mainly present in the brain it attacks or basically affects cardiovascular system common name marijuana ganja charas hashish these are the common names mode of abuse inhalation or oral ingestion oral ingestion is basically taken as capsules now coca alkaloids common name also called cocaine common name coke or crack it is obtained from erythroxylum coca that's the plant name and um, exact uh, which part of the plant it is obtained is not given interferes with the transport of neurotransmitter dopamine it interferes with the transport of neurotransmitter dopamine dopamine is basically involved in um, car uh, carrying the message by the neurons now so obviously it affects central nervous system it causes euphoria and increase in energy now excess if uh, coca alkaloid is in uh, what to say is taken abused in excess amount then it causes hallucination now coming to the hallucinating agents which are used as drugs hallucinating agents used as drugs are atropa belladonna atropa belladonna and dutura both of these are plants okay now coming to morphine morphine is basically used as painkiller to reduce pain but it can be also abuse and we all know about smoking what is smoking basically tobacco is um used as cigarettes or it can be chewed and in tobacco nicotine is present which uh, affects the central nervous system and what it does it stimulates adrenal gland to release adrenaline and non adrenaline into blood circulation both of uh, which re raise blood pressure and heart rate so nicotine is the chemical present in tobacco which i repeat stimulates adrenal gland that is one of the hormone uh, endocrine gland releases hormone adrenaline and nor nor adrenaline so which in turn these two hormone what are their function they are related in blood circulation and control of blood pressure and heart rate so release of these two leads to blood circulation 
increase amount leading to blood pressure and increase in heart rate now as i told earlier smoking can cause cancers of lung urinary bladder throat bronchitis as well as emphysema coronary heart disease gastric ulcer etc so these all are the diseases cancers of lung urinary bladder throat as well as bronchitis emphysema coronary heart disease gastric ulcer and tobacco chewing can cause cancer of oral cavity now smoking increases how it affects our body it increases co carbon monoxide content in the body and reduces concentration of heme bound oxygen this leads to oxygen deficiency in our body so these are the harmful effects of smoking or chewing tobacco there are statutory warnings given in the packets of uh, cigarette or even uh, the uh, tobacco which is also called tambaku and um, counseling and medical help are given to get rid of these habits